Uh, Chris Chinock here for Display Central and the uh, BOE uh, booth here at Display Week 2014. Uh, we are looking at a 98-inch uh, 8K display. Uh, that's uh, 760, uh, eight, 7680 by 4320. Uh, this has about uh, four or 500 nits of brightness and 1,000 to 1 contrast. And uh, clearly from this distance looks uh, looks quite good. Uh, but when you get up close, you can start to see, I could see some, uh, looks like uh, some line driver issues. Uh, I could see a vertical lines at some places. There seem to be a, a horizontal, uh, uh, an angular uh, moray pattern across the whole screen. Uh, at some points, uh, there seem to be some, some jaggies and some content, too. Uh, I mean, this part of this may be uh, the native content uh, and upscaling artifacts. Um, I'm not sure if this is native uh, AK content or not. Um, but um, uh, colors look good, but it does not appear to be, uh, it doesn't, at least it doesn't say it's extended color gamut. Uh, so that's, uh, that's one piece of, the, of what they're showing here at, at the booth. Uh, over here uh, in another part is uh, their 3D display from, uh, from Dolby Systems. Uh, this is a, an active parallax barrier system. Uh, so they basically have a, a second layer that goes on top of the panel. Uh, that can create the, the, uh, the slanted uh, barrier for the multi-view display. Uh, that uh, will, uh, uh, that's what you use, of course, in, in, in 3D mode. Uh, that reduces the brightness by about a third from about 450 to 150 nits, uh, and the uh, resolution by about a, a third as well. Uh, and, uh, but it's, uh, it can be switched uh, off, so it's completely transparent if you want to watch it in, uh, in native UHD resolution at, 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 at that full uh, resolution. Uh, also, on, on another part of the booth over here is what they're showing on an oxide display uh, as well as an OLED display. Let's go take a look at those. Okay, over here on the other side of the BOE uh, booth are, is they're showing an oxide display and an OLED display. Uh, both of these are UHD resolution. Uh, the oxide display has got about 73% uh, of NTSC, and the OLED is actually only about 85% of NTSC in terms of uh, uh, color gamut. So uh, uh, I'm a little surprised that's a little bit, uh, a little bit low. Um, so um, that's the story here from the BOE booth here at uh, Display Week. Chris Chinock for Display Central.